In this video, we'll be talking about P53 and its role in cell cycle regulation. P53 is a particular tumor suppressor protein which can pause the cell cycle. P53 plays key role in regulation of the cell cycle, apoptosis and maintenance of genomic stability. So question is why does P53 pause the cell cycle progression? Why it should pause the cell cycle? How it can pause the cell cycle? And finally, what is the consequence? So we would understand all of this in this video. P53 is activated in response to DNA damage. Imagine there is a double stranded DNA break like this one. And double stranded DNA break is the most cytotoxic. Because if unrepaired, these kind of double stranded DNA break would have deleterious effects like blocking the replication. Even one segment of the chromosome could be lost during segregation. And the ultimate thing that can happen is death of these cells. So obviously when P53 is mutated, none of these process can happen and there is accumulation of mutation. That is why sometimes P53 is known as the guardian of the genome. Now let's see how P53 works. So DNA damage is sensed by several sensor proteins such as ATM or ATR kinases. ATM stands for ataxia telangiectasia mutated. But anyway, these are kinases which sense the double-stranded DNA break and activates another downstream target known as CHEK2 kinase. CHEK2 phosphorylates P53. Once it is phosphorylated, the degradation of P53 is prevented. How is that? In general, there is a protein known as MDM2 which binds to P53 and ubiquitinylates it for degradation. So obviously, the phosphorylated P53 is released from MDM2 and it cannot be degraded. So it, when it persists in the cells, then P53 can do many things. P53 can activate P21 and ultimately leading to inhibition of cyclin CDK complex. P21 is also known as CKIs or cyclin dependent kinase inhibitors. So when cyclin CDK co complexes are inhibited, the cell cycle progression is halted. So now we see how the DNA damage is sensed and how that is that information is relayed to P53 and what P53 does at a molecular level to pause the cell cycle. So obviously the consequence is cell cycle pause. Now once the cell cycle pause, what really happens? So one, sometimes pausing the cell cycle is necessary to repair the DNA damage. That is the first and foremost thing that cell would try. Cell would engage homologous recombination based repair system or non-homologous end joining to repair this kind of double strand DNA breaks. And if the DNA is repaired, then it's a very good sign. Cell cycle can resume again. But imagine a situation when the damage is not uh, repairable. It's an irreparable, irreversible damage. It is beyond repair. In that case, P53 coordinates with the intrinsic pathway of apoptosis and triggers the death of the cell. It is better to kill the cell instead of segregating faulty or mutate or accumulating mutations. So basically, the P53 mediated pathway ultimately activates caspases. So basically P53 produces BCL2 family of sensors. These BCL2 family proteins such as BAX and BAD poke holes in the mitochondrial membrane which lead to a leak of cytochrome C. Cytochrome C along with APAF1 ultimately activates caspase 3. So inactive caspase 3 gets cleaved into active caspase 3 and caspase lead to a DNA damage and a digestion of many of the cellular enzymes, breakdown of nucleus, etc. It's important to note that there are inhibitory there are inhibitory arm in this signaling. For example, BCL2 and BCL XL are pro uh, anti apoptotic and P53 is kind of override this kind of signal and preventing uh, them to rescue the cell. Anyway, the cell would bleb out and the blebs would be uh, cleared by the macrophages. So this tells us how DNA damage when irreversible and irreparable can trigger an intrinsic pathway of apoptosis. Okay, 
Now we learned in this video that there are two outcomes of P53 mediated cell cycle pause. One is fixing that damage with the help of recombination based repair or on NHEJ and resume the cell cycle. Now if this is beyond repair then apoptosis and all this thing was necessary because it is better to have a dead cell than a cell having faulty chromosome and having mutations that might transform into a cancer cell who knows so obviously pfp53 mutations are highly associated with many and most of the cancers the genomic uh, sequencing has found out there are several mutation hotspot present in the p53 gene which are always associated with all types of cancers so that is why p53 is really important in context of cell cycle regulation and cancer progression i hope this video was useful if you like this video give it a quick thumbs up you can get more notes and flashcard in our facebook page and instagram page the links are provided in the description you can support our channel using super thanks you can pay via paytm paypal or upi see you in next video